Hey everybody, welcome to the respiratory world. My name is Mr. Acero and today we're going to be talking to you about the magic box. That's right, the magic box. And the magic box, what it does is it tells us about the air to oxygen ratio, right? How many parts air to oxygen does our air entrainment device put out? Right? So air entrainment device, what is our air entrainment device as well? You can think of our Venturi masks, right? You can think of our large volume nebulizers, right? Where we can set a precise FiO2, okay? So today we're gonna to be utilizing this magic box here and I'm gonna teach you how to, how to use it to find the air to oxygen ratio. And so here in my example, you see the air entrainment device, okay? The air entrainment device here was set at 40% FiO2, which is set at eight liters per minute. So what we do is we are going to take that FiO2 there, okay? So let's take the FiO2, and we're gonna write it right in the middle of this box here, okay? So 40, right, 40%, 40. Over on this side, we're gonna be writing the amount of air, uh, fractional inspired oxygen, or FiO2. And so how much FiO2 is in room air? That's right, it's 21. So here, we're gonna write 21. And over on this side, we're gonna be writing the amount of oxygen that's actually gonna be coming from our, our wall source here, right? So the amount of oxygen that comes from our flow meters right? It's going to be 100% FiO2, right? 100%. All right. And then so here we do kind of like this odd uh, uh, math here where we go 100 minus 40, right? So we kind of do this cross math here. 100 minus 40, we know it's going to give us 60. Okay. And then also from here, we're going to go 40 minus 21 and then you're going to write that answer down there right and then so 40 minus 21 we know as it's going to give us uh, 19. We go right 19 right here okay and so we're not done yet so now what we have to do is we have to turn this into a ratio and how are we going to do that so what i'm going to do or what i'm going to tell you is we're going to go start from this side and we're going to divide 19 by itself, right? And 19 divided by 19 gives us one, right? All right, and then we're gonna come over on this side and we're gonna take the same 19 and we're gonna divide it by 60. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not gonna be the best in math, especially if it's not whole numbers. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna bring up my handy dandy calculator, all right? And so here we're going to take 60 and we're going to divide it by 19 and that's going to give us 3.15789473. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to round to the nearest whole number here. Okay, so it's going to be 3. And so now what this is telling you is this is the air to oxygen ratio, right? So there for every one part of oxygen, we are entraining three parts of room air. All right? All right, and so now what we're gonna talk about is this, the total output flow, the TOF. What is the total output flow from this air entrainment device, which is set at 40% FiO2, and our flow meter is dialed to eight liters per minute, okay? And so the way we do this, right, is we're gonna take our three parts of air, room air, and we're going to add it to our one part of oxygen, right? And so that gives us four total parts, okay? And so what we do now is we're gonna take these four total parts and we're gonna multiply it by our eight liters per minute. So four times eight is gonna give us 32 liters per minute, all right? And so why is this important, 
right? We know this air entrainment device, high flow devices, Venturi devices. We know these devices can meet or exceed our patient's inspiratory demand, right? So what does that mean? So everybody has an inspiratory demand, right? There's an inspiratory demand when I'm breathing in. Let's say my inspiratory demand was, I don't know, 30 liters per minute, okay? So the flow at which I'm breathing in is coming in at 30 liters per minute. Well, I know now that on my air entrainment device set at 40%, at eight liters per minute, our total output flow is 32 liters per minute. Okay, so if that is 32 liters per minute, total output flow. This is meeting and exceeding my inspiratory demand. Therefore, I know that my patient is going to be receiving this 40% FiO2, this precise FiO2. I hope this helps out. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to any one of us, okay? All right, I hope you have a great day. Thanks.